Today's lesson is all about the half shot, the 50, 60 yard shot that a lot of you hate. But after this lesson, I'm gonna give you three tips that you've probably not seen before that are gonna help you master that shot. So a lot of the problems come due to poor contact. We get the ground first, we get the ball halfway up the ball, so we see that thin, quick shot firing across the green, and we don't see solid contacts. Once we've got the solid contacts, then we can start to dial in our distance control. But if we're trying to dial in distance control without solid contact, we're really gonna struggle from there. A lot of the issues are all to do with our angle of attack. Now, I'm just gonna use my alignment canes here just to demonstrate what really happens with a lot of people in two scenarios one we want one we don't want a lot of people if you haven't seen my pitching videos in the past talking about your ball position your shaft lean your setup go and check those out but what a lot of people will do is put the uh, the ball back in the stance and lean the shaft a lot and it creates too much of a steep angle of attack so we would get something where if you imagine now, the club would be descending into the golf ball, obviously not this steep, but it's almost coming down like so. We do not want that because your window of opportunity to actually strike the golf ball becomes really minimal. What we want is a shallower angle of attack. So what we want to try and do is get something where the club, if I just get this one dug in here, would actually be descending more on an angle like this. So if you're stood with the ball back in your stance thinking that you're going to hit down on the golf ball, you're probably going to be coming in in an attack angle, uh, an attack angle like so. As where we want to try and feel that we're coming in shallower. We hear a lot of talk about bounce, that's this part of the golf club here, the sole of the golf club, the angle between the back and the front. We want to try and utilise that. So what I want you to do really really simple drill to start off and actually get the feeling of using this and trying to get a shallower angle of attack and feel like you're almost brushing the turf i want you to just take three golf balls and you're just going to line them up like so nice little line there i want you to address the ground but as uh, in line with the middle golf ball here from there then all i want you to try and do is imagine just rubbing the bottom of your golf club along the ground at the length of these three golf balls because if we're on that steep angle of attack what would happen is you would basically come down hit the ground in the middle where the middle ball is and then you would ascend back up out of the ground if you don't get it perfectly right especially when the ground's a little bit wet a little bit moist it's not going to be working. We need to try and see that as we go through this, we want to try and feel that I'm brushing this little bit of grass at the length of these three golf balls. And even there, if you just come in close for me, as I've actually taken these practice swings, you can see here, I've only really made a little bit of a bruise on the ground. I'm not taking huge divots and really stabbing down at the ground. So your first tip, is to get that little brush. Imagine a sleeve of golf balls. Just feel like you're brushing it off each time. Feel like as you go through, you can start to impact the ground with that sole of the golf club and just brush a little bit of turf away. Once you've done that, bring a golf ball in and try and actually give it a go. I'm gonna try and knock this one in. And my sole thought here, I'm just gonna move these up a little bit. I've taken the back golf ball, I've lined it up with the middle one, and I'm just going to try again to get this little brushing sensation as I go through. So, good setup, and get my brush. And there, nicely clipped off, bouncing down, down the wind, and just trundles up onto the green with a really, really solid contact. I've not taken a huge divot, I've just brushed it off, all because I'm trying to control that angle of attack. So make sure you've got your basics right in terms of setup, then think about this angle of attack as we're going through it. The second tip is all about rotation. When we think of chipping and pitching, because it's a smaller swing, I see a lot of people stopping in the tracks. They just start to think, well, I'm only hitting it 50 yards, 
I don't need to turn my body so the arms come into play. We swing with our arms and our hands and we don't get the turn we need, which ultimately isn't going to give the path we want. It's not going to give that angle of attack and it's going to lead to a lot of duff shots. So really simple. What I want to do, I, I like to call it with my students the sort of pinch technique because what I like them to imagine is that they're pinching two credit cards underneath their armpits. So from that then, if we imagined as we were to take our posture, we get our good setup, we've got the feet the right distance apart, we've got the weight distributed properly. From there then, I want to imagine almost that I just pinch two credit cards underneath my armpits. I take my grip, from there then, as I swing back, my credit cards stay in place. And then as I swing through, I want to try and turn my cards towards the target. As where what I see a lot of people doing is they get the setup, swing the arms down and keep looking down at the ball and don't turn them towards the target. So our hips stay focused at the golf ball, our chest stays there and we're not looking to where we should be going. So really simple, imagine, just as you're doing it, again, having your practice swings, building in that little brush of the surface, we're then gonna feel, as we go through, that I pinch in, I swing my arms back, and I turn the body to the target. So even though it's just a small shot, notice now that I'm finishing looking down that target, my trail foot's come up, and everything is looking down there. I'm not focused on the ground, and giving it this sort of finish as I go through. So really simple, think about that little pinch and then turn the pinch as we go through. So a couple of practice swings, pinch it, swing the arms and turn it. If we can get that feeling, pinch it and turn it, we start to look more in control as we're going through. So once you've had a couple of practice swings again, get used to that feeling, take your setup, imagine pinching those cards under the arms and we're going to turn them to our target as we go through and as we see there nice little clip off and as I've finished everything's down towards my target and I'm looking nice and controlled and balanced as I've gone through that the third and final tip this comes down to a little bit of practice but it's all about tempo when we think of that bad picture of the golf ball they look rushed even when they're getting up to the golf ball, they're sort of nervous in what they're doing. They're pulling the club out. They're thinking, oh, well, if I can get this over quickly, oh, it, it won't be a bad shot. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, everything looks fast. It's like we've got it in fast forward. It goes 10 times faster than normal. We need to focus on our tempo. If we can solve that angle of attack, if we can keep our body turning and then blend that in with a nice little tempo, we're gonna see that we start to get better shots. So when you're out practicing, and also as a caveat to that, I would say you need to go down to the practice green and actually spend some time working on your rhythm. Or even if it's at home in the garden, think about in your mind as you go through these shots, having maybe a, a little phrase that you, you speak to yourself. It might be back and through, it might be one and two, whatever it is. But as we're going through, we wouldn't want to be stood over it I've got my nice angle of attack, I've got my pinch and going, one, two. It doesn't work. We want to be a little bit smoother. I'm not trying to hit the ball miles, I'm trying to control it to a specific distance. From here, if I was throwing it underarm, I would be very much in this rhythm. So as I go through these shots here, and as I'm thinking about my tempo, for myself, I'd be back and forth. And just listen to the words as I say that there back and forth. It's not a rushed motion. There's gonna be a little bit of acceleration anyway because of how the swing works, but I'm not trying to smash it. I've not gone into that speedy motion as I go through. So take some time working on that angle of attack, thinking about your pinch, but then as you're stood over it, and we're actually hitting the golf ball when we get out on the golf course, really focus on that tempo. Try and keep it as smooth as possible. If you start thinking about, oh, am I gonna take a divot, am I gonna impact that, you'll get yourself tangled up. If you're thinking about a nice tempo and letting the arms swing and the body turn, all of a sudden all the pieces start to fall in line because I'm able to control the golf club instead of getting out of sync and smashing at it. So I go in, 
I know I want to brush that surface and I want to get the pinch and as I go through it I go back and I go forth and I get that lovely crisp little pitch shot and then I'm able to master that half shot so guys go through those tips make sure you understand them and they can help you if you've enjoyed the lesson as well why not check out one of my chipping videos here if you're someone who struggles with your short game give it a watch and see if that can help you chipping as well See you in your next video.